All right. Um, another thing that um, I just made a, a video about two minutes ago, and I forgot to mention a couple things. Of course, when you do your first video, there's a couple things that just when you're talking, it just goes right through your brain. Um, so pretty much T cell lymphoblastic lymphoma. This whole right side, I had to get two chest tubes, um, drain the fluid. So pretty much, you know, I did a lot of things to this right side of the lung. Since my main drug or passion is soccer, the main thing that I wanted to do was after this to be able to still play. So the pulmonologist told me, oh, we're going to do a lot of things to your lung. There's a couple things that might happen. It might not expand again. So after the third chemo, you know, once the scan came back that everything was gone, instead of wait till the whole treatment of the eight chemos, I already, you know, forced myself to play soccer again, you know. So, of course, I'm not able to run or do anything crazy like I used to. But I knew that if I made my body fight, that that lung, you know, this lung would actually, you know, go back to normal versus me wait the whole time. The main issues that I have um, are my hemoglobins. Um, a normal person, due to my blood test that I see, the range is anywhere from 14 to 18. Mine are usually in the 6, 7, 8 range. So the way I compare it to is I can jog around, no problem. I can walk, breathe through my nose. But as soon as I make those little sprints, I'm dead. It's like me puffing 6, 7 cigarettes at one time. So I don't know if anybody has any... Um, I know it through time, my body, you know, after the next week is my last chemo, so it will regenerate and go back. But I just don't know if anybody has any tips or any foods or, 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 or you know, any vitamins or even vegetables or fruits that I can take to help between now and then to help facilitate that process. Thanks.